Oh man. Hey there, everyone. Dr. Beth Westy here. Um, I want to talk about eating fruit and why some people are terrified to eat fruit. Yeah, that's a thing. It's a thing. Um, <laughs> if you're like, is this, is she for real? Yeah, I'm being for real. Why is there's like a weird shadow from something right here? Do you guys see that? It's bothering me. Anyway, I'll figure it out later at some point. Um, I want to talk about sugar, fruit, all these things, especially with the holidays coming up. Oh, I've been doing my jumpstart calls with the 12 week challenge. So I'm going to put a link here. If you have not scheduled your call right now, you can schedule your call. Um, get, you know, click the link, schedule the call, learn more about the 12 week challenge, shift and change your nutrition to match your hormones in your cycle to get and keep a better result. Um, but it's just, it's one of those things that I hear from people all the time. <gasps> Are bananas bad for you? Are they good for you? Like it's a banana. It's just a banana, right? Oh, I don't eat fruit anymore. I haven't eaten fruit in two years. Two years without eating fruit because they're terrified of having those sugars. And I'm like, that's, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. It's not about the sugar, right? It's about really getting full nutrients in. So if you are a person that's been terrified to eat fruit, I mean, on the scale of fruit, there are things that are lower glycemic and higher glycemic, right? So there are those things. So I'll just jot down a few of these things here. It'd be things like watermelon. Wow, I almost spelled that wrong. Um, cantaloupe, melons, things like that. They, they are, these are a lower glycemic, uh, lower glycemic, in, or sorry, higher glycemic index. Oh, I'm going to move this light because I don't think you guys can see that very well. There you go. Watermelon, cantaloupe, um, those are, these are going to be higher. So glycemic index all has to do with how your body burns the sugars. You want things that are medium or low glycemic index. Sugar, like regular table sugar is a, a hundred, right? That's, that's it. Anything below that is going to be lower glycemic index, which means your body, it's not going to spike your insulin levels, blah, blah, blah. It's better to get into things like, um, oranges. Um, lemons, limes, uh, then you're going to get into things like apples, pears, fruits like that. And then berries, berries are also really, really low. So this is low glycemic index, but that doesn't mean, oh, apples are going to be, or sorry, bananas. I mentioned bananas are going to be about there, but that doesn't mean that you can't eat bananas right? That doesn't mean you can't eat them. So I've talked about this before. And I remember I, I chatted with the gal. She was like, I saw this video you did where you talked about fruit and blah, 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 blah. I haven't eaten fruit. I'm terrified of fruit. And you know, oh my gosh, bananas are bad for you. And she started eating berries because I put it very bottom of the list. And she's like, okay, well, there's not really, there's really not very much sugar in these at all in berries. And they're super high in antioxidants, super good for you, super get organic ones, you know, ones where they don't use pesticides, stuff like that. And right now, this time of year typically is not, they're not in season. So I will get frozen, get frozen berries, frozen organic berries. Great. But then she started eating berries and that was it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> if you're looking to reset your hormones, detox things, there's certain um, properties in fruits that help your body do that. So with missing an entire food group here, you're really missing out some essential phytonutrients, some vitamins, some, some specific things in these fruits that help your system function the way that it should. That's the piece that we're missing out on when we're like, oh my God, I'm terrified to eat fruit. I can't do it. No, eat fruit. It all depends on how it's worked in. So in the 12 week challenge, we talk about eating fruit. There's fruit in there. And again, I had a gal who was like, oh my gosh, I don't know, I don't know. I saw the meal plan and I'm nervous. I'm like, oh, just trust me. You're going to feel better because you're getting these nutrients in your body. You're going to feel better because your body's getting these certain vitamins that are, that are found naturally in these foods, which means they're really bioavailable, right? You can take a vitamin all day long, but if there's something in that vitamin or supplement that you're taking that interacts with your system in a funky way, even a little bit, you're not going to bloat as much of it as you should. With whole foods, that's why I always start with whole food. So when you start with whole foods, your body uploads as much as it really needs. That's how your system's designed to work. It's very, very cool. It's very cool. <laughs> yes. 
So she started eating, this gal that I had this call with, she started eating berries and was like, I'm terrified to eat any of these other fruits. And I said, trust me, you can eat the other fruit. It's just worked into the program and the plan. Here's how it works. We're going to make sure that you're getting protein and fats and carbs in the right um, portions here. So you're getting your proteins, fats, and carbs, and these are all considered, you know, a carb, you know, part of, their, part of your carb diet. So when you're getting proteins and fats in a good ratio, you can have carbs, and it's not a big deal. In fact, these carbs, and this includes fruit, actually help your system upload the maximum amount of protein that you're trying to get. If all you're doing is eating proteins and fats and you're not getting any carbs, your body can't actually upload the, that full amount of protein. That's not how the system works. That's why people who don't eat fruit or don't eat sugars or don't eat carbs or follow keto have a hard time. You're not uploading that max amount of protein that you're actually eating. It's just not physiologically, that's not how your body works, right? So when I work with women in the 12 week challenge, we start with body physiology. We start with how your body works and functions how it digests, absorbs, all that other stuff, metabolizes. And then we work with your hormones. How do your hormones work? How does everything shift and change throughout the month? And how can we match that, support that? And then anywhere along the way that you're struggling in terms of blood sugar, in terms of hormonal dysfunction, we work on whole food, you know, to supplement, whole food first to supplement to really help your system function at its best so that things like um, energy, sleep, you know, weight loss, all that stuff is a natural side effect of your body working better. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Um, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you learned something about sugars and don't be afraid to eat sugars and don't be afraid to eat. Um, but again, we are booking these calls right now. They are getting booked out. If you really want a call and you're like, oh my gosh, none of these times I'm available for or the times that you only have available left, I can't send me a message. Um, I'll try and open up more times then because I really do want that we do make the time for that. So that's my goal for you, um, is to get you the support that you guys need. Other resources I have, YouTube channel, Dr. Beth Westy, podcast, The Female Health Solution, books, The Female Fat Solution, and The Female Menopause Solution are online or on Amazon. Um, yeah. And then again, I have a ton of info on my website, which is just drbethwesty.com. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Enjoy the rest of your night and I will see you later.